Alright guys, in this one we're taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem figures. So these are based off of the new movie that's coming out in August I believe. I recently saw the trailer and uh, I know some people aren't really happy with like the animation style or the new look but I, as for me, I enjoyed it. The trailer seemed fun so I'll wait to watch it and I guess go from there. But yeah, these these figures are, I think they're at Walmart and Amazon, Target. But these here, the Turtle Top ones, these are exclusive to Target. You can see they're on the box. And we can take a look at the back of one of these. You can see they also have their figures of when they're teens. And then we have a few classic bad guys like Rocksteady and Bebop. Bebop and Rocksteady. Leatherhead. And I believe Superfly is the main, like, bad guy from the upcoming movie. So yeah, I ended up picking up all three of these. I grabbed Splinter just because I know that in the trailer he's voiced by Jackie Chan. And I was going to regret it if I didn't end up at least bringing him along. Uh, but let's go ahead and pop these open and, and take a look at them. Okay, so we're going to start off with this one, and we'll start off with Leo and Donnie because uh, Donatello is actually my favorite turtle. I think everybody has their own favorite. For me, it was always Donnie, I think just because of the color purple, honestly, and I liked his, his weapon, which, was the bow or which is the bow staff. And it looks like they have some twist ties here. Maybe we could just cut through these. As we're careful. But yeah, growing up, you know, I think like a lot of us, there was at least some iteration of the Turtles for us to watch. And I wasn't like a huge, like hardcore fan of them. But I was definitely a fan. And I really also enjoyed at the skating rink that we have near us. They had an arcade cabinet that had one of the Ninja Turtles games on it. It was, what was it called? Shredder. Uh, I wish I could remember. And there's probably people like shouting at the screen what it is. Okay, there we go. Got him out of there. And his katana. I think it's really cool that they're weapons, since they're like kids. They're wooden weapons, right? So that they don't get hurt. So we've got Leo. And you can see there, that doesn't really happen on a turtle. So I don't know that I'll be like posing him twisted like that because it looks really weird. He's got his little little goofy face and then Donnie like I said my favorite one with the bow staff of course these can be you know removed and I love that he's got the the huge nerdy glasses I know some people don't like that they went full nerd and like are leaning into it but someone who's had to wear glasses it's cool to see that on the screen Let's bust this open. Sorry for being so loud, but let's go ahead and get this open. Put this aside. And then let's see if these twist ties are a bit easier to, to get off of there. Okay, there we go. Maybe if I actually tried twisting it, it wouldn't have been so hard on the first set. As for this set, like I said, I really like uh, Raph, Raphael, that they made him so big. But uh, character wise, I always liked Mikey. I know that to some he might be like kind of annoying since he's like the, the more goofy, jokey one, but I always liked his lightheartedness. And let's see if we can get this second. 
second one in his hand it's pretty like closed so I don't know that we can get it in there I don't want to risk breaking it but maybe you could hold it like that <laughs> and he's got the I like how they all have their own like color to them they're each a bit of a different shade and then let's get it So many ties, too. They've got the weapons in there. Okay, there we go. And as for, like, their articulation, like I said, they have that hip swivel there. And the legs, nothing really. And the arms, especially on him, they really just go up and down there. It doesn't really move side to side. And then we've got the wooden sigh. So, very cool. <laughs> and look how big he is, I mean, compared to them. I think Mikey is actually the smallest, it looks like. And again, on them, the legs are the same. They don't move. The arms really just go up and down. You've got a little bit on the head there. He's got the dark green. Got Donnie with, like, the lime green of his head is even like a bit harder to move doesn't really have a neck skinnier arms and then leo i think leo's got like the most posability here honestly but yeah that's that's really fun it's really cool how they're just you know they're just learning their tots turtle tots as it says and let's go ahead and bust open this splinter while we're at it. I was considering doing his own video, but we might as well just bust it open now. And growing up, like I said, I was into Ninja Turtles. I had a few figures that were like secondhand, you know, from like garage sales. And my uncle was a huge fan, so he had some, some that he'd let us borrow. But I do remember one figure that I had, and that one I believe I got it for a birthday. I had asked for a Ninja Turtles figure, and I open it up, and it's Splinter. And I remember being disappointed as a kid because it's like I wanted a Ninja Turtle, not this this rat guy. Of course, as a kid, you know, you don't stop and think about, like, you know, maybe that's the only one that was there, and that's what the parents found. Or... The fact, too, that he's, you know, he's a master splinter. He's the one who taught them everything they know. So, I mean, show a little respect, right? So we've got the old school, like, weapons rack. He's got a bow on there. A few arrows. I always forget what these are called, but they're cool. And then some throwing stars. He's got his, whoa, shot right out at me. His walking stick. And let's, let's get master splinter out and let's give him the walking stick while we're at it he's got glasses on just like donnie and then he's got his belt tail sticking out of his little like robe here and let's stand him right behind the boys there right behind his boys we'll get these out of the way put the weapon rack there looks good so yeah i'm i'm excited for the new movie these figures you know got me a bit more excited for it too i'm definitely going to keep an eye out uh for sure i want to pick up at least the the main bad guy which is uh superfly at least that's what we're getting from the trailer it seems like uh never really heard of him but I, I do know Bebop and Rocksteady. I know some people don't really like how Rocksteady looks, but I, I think they look fine. So I'll definitely pick them up. And definitely down the line we'll grab the Turtles as teens as well. So yeah. Really that's, I mean, if you see them, if you if you like it like, like I did, pick them up. They, they're at Target. 
they look great though I, i'm really happy with them i'll have to set up a cool display and and show it off later but until the next video thanks for watching guys